Um, but I think one really important thing here is inevitably this will uh, st you know, stoke discussion around the Islamic faith. These people aren't doing, you know, they well, are I, in I no want, way if representative you, if you, if you of guys just, uh, right. Muslims in You've this You've hit country. the right point here. And actually. I think it's really important we emphasize that's one of the things the Met Police Commissioner was saying earlier this year yeah. one of the reasons we're quite resilient is because of our shared values because this isn't a question of faith well the reason I want These you just to hold fire a moment is not, I want know. to bring in on that very point Mohammed Shafiq he's mm -hmm. the chief executive of the Ramadan Foundation and, and can talk directly to what Chakramuni just said good, uh, good morning to you Mohammed Sh uh, Shafiq what is your reaction to the, the appalling attack in Germany well, it's one of real sadness that once again, you know, we've seen a terrorist atrocity. And as you rightly said, you know, we, we see it from so-called Muslims who are using violence to make political uh, objectives. We've seen it in Aleppo where uh, thousands have been massacred and the world has stood by and watched. And we've seen it, you know, in Berlin uh, and obviously in Turkey as well. So, you know, my heart is pained by this because, you know, it's Christmas, it's, it's time for celebration, it's time for community and we've seen this warrant uh, terrorism. And as you rightly said, Chukka, uh, this has nothing to do with Islam. Our, our faith has been distorted. Uh, these are terrorist ideology of violence that we've got to confront, and we stand pretty uh, strong together, sh shoulder by shoulder, and really committed to you know, making sure that terrorists okay, don't win. Because uh, as always, Piers, Mohammed, let me Let me jump in, let me yeah, jump in. Don't. On that point, there will be people watching saying, look, it's too simple to say this has nothing to do with Islam. Right, because clearly, whoever is perpetrating this, they're doing it under the banner of their warped idea of what Islam means to them. How is the Muslim community around the world going to do with this ongoing problem, which, of course, is, is inadvertently and very unfairly in most cases smearing a religion? What more can you do? Well, most of us are on the front of line, uh, peers, fighting terrorism. We've been subjected to death threats from these uh, terrorist organizations. So I think I'm doing a pretty good job uh, of de trying to take on this ideology of violence. I think we've got to do two things. One, we've got to be resilient. We cannot uh, give in to these terrorists and we cannot allow them to divide us. And secondly, we've got to deal with the root causes of some of these terrorist atrocities. We've got to look at the issue of foreign policy. We've got to look at the, our inaction as the international community when it comes to the atrocities that we've seen in Syria and the world just stood by and watched. And we've got to be absolutely clear that you've got to take on the ideology. That's why you've seen hundreds of Muslim scholars around the world declare terrorism and those that use violence uh, as an Islamic. And they've uh, paid a heavy price in many cases. They've been murdered for those views. So, you know, we in the Muslim community, as human beings, as fathers, as sons, as daughters, uh, we're disgusted by this and we're very absolutely strong in our determination to take on this evil ideology and make sure that our country, the United Kingdom, is safe from terrorists. You mentioned, uh, Mohammed, of course, foreign policy, but it's very confusing for people, isn't it? I mean, we have the uh, Russian ambassador to Turkey assassinated by somebody who mentions Aleppo. Um, we are all appalled by what we see as the, you know, what the evidence of atrocities against civilians in Aleppo. And meanwhile, we have the Syrian government and the Russian government saying it is their international responsibility to tackle Islamist jihad in Aleppo. Well, I think if you look at what's happening in Aleppo, you are seeing uh, devastation on a huge scale. People have been murdered and massacred. Uh, just so happens that they live in an area which is held by the opposition. So, you know, we've got to see that process of reconciliation, a political settlement to what is happening in Syria come pretty quickly. Uh, but, you know, we as, we as human beings at a time of Christmas, you know, I'm a Muslim, I don't celebrate Christmas, but we live at uh, a time of, uh, you know, uh, celebration because it's Christmas. You know, our hearts go out to the victims. But we must not allow either the far right or opportunist commentators the opportunity to attack uh, or divide communities. We must not allow that to happen. And, and I think something which Ian Duncan Smith said, which is really important, we, uh, the Muslim community, have got excellent relationships with uh, intelligence agencies. And I think one of the key reasons why you haven't seen a terrorist atrocity in the United Kingdom is because of the fantastic work our police and intelligence agencies do. All right, Mohammed Shafiq uh, from the Ramadan Foundation. Thanks very much indeed. Can, can I just ask one last thing before we move on? Ian Duncan Smith, uh, you first. When Donald Trump, who obviously has been very outspoken 